everybody what is going on and welcome back to the channel so as you can see it is pretty cold out today got my winter hat on last video where i showed you guys the tahoe um i mentioned if you want to see future videos on it a lot of you guys seem really interested um and want to see more videos and the thing is winter is right around the corner and uh the camaro i don't really take out as much it's like ice all over the place we just had a lot of rain and then it froze over then they threw salt down so the uh the roads are kind of that watery salty uh mess with a little bit of ice here and there so i'm not really taking it out uh not to say you're not going to be seeing it anytime soon i probably am going to have it out um in an upcoming video you guys will see it but for now i'm just going to be working on the tahoe just to uh get it up and running i'm still waiting on the title to come in but it did ship out i should have it in a few days so in this video i'm going to change the oil as well as do a whole shakedown on the truck uh, i'm going to pull the wheels check the brakes uh, see if anything looks out of place you know uh the usual stuff on these kind of trucks i want to check the control arm bushings um any leaks stuff like that check for play in the front end um, i know for sure i'm going to need transmission cooler hoses because uh there is a leak towards the front of the truck coming from one of the hoses. So um, I already went and ordered a set of those. The other thing I'm gonna have to do is replace the uh, the little vent actuator because on the driver's side, um, when you put the AC on, the passenger side gets really cold, but the driver's side stays hot. So that little solenoid that uh, switches the blend door for the driver's side, being it does have uh, dual climate controls, that went out. The only thing that I currently know about, um, aside from that stuff, is the climate controls. Now, if you look here, um, when I go to adjust the temperature, it kind of just doesn't want to go anywhere. You have to go really, really slow to get it to go up. Even then, it's still pretty finicky. So I think I'm going to have to get another set of climate controls. Um, the passenger side, same thing. Right now, we're going to get the oil changer done. We're going to uh, check everything out underneath. Check for leaks. Um, I already went and aired up all the tires. You saw in the intro, I got the windows all cleaned up. Got the uh, auction lot number off. As well as check the air filter. The air filter looks brand new, but I still went and picked up a K&N one. So I'm going to be installing that in a future video. I just want to get this uh, engine bay taken care of. Really do a nice cleaning and a power washing on it before I go and put the new air filter in. But before I go any further, I want to show you a note that I found in the back of the truck. Now, I was just in here um, kind of looking around, sitting in the third row, uh, getting a feel for what needs to be done. And um, I went in here in this little box and I actually found, I can't get it open right now, my hands are like frozen, but I found this little note in there. And as I mentioned in the last video, I said that this truck was really clean and aside from all the dirt and the possibility of kids being in here, it looked like it was really taken care of. And I popped that door open yesterday and this is what I found in here. Um, it says, it says, to the new owners of Tahiti, I'm guessing that Tahiti is the name of the truck. Uh, from the old owners at Tahiti, 2006 to 2017. So uh, the previous owner had this truck for 11 years. Um, so that definitely uh, tells me that it was probably maintained pretty damn good. The first owner only had it for a couple of years, so it's very possible that it was a lease. And then uh, once it got turned in, um, the second owners here bought it. But in here, they just wrote a note to the future truck owner, which is me. Uh, Dear future truck owners, the truck's name is Tahiti and she is a girl. Make sure you take good care of the truck. Love the old owners. P.S. Be nice to the truck. So obviously the previous owners really love this thing and um, they took care of it and they hope that the second owner is going to take care of it as well. And um, they kind of looked out because I take very, very good care of my cars. I kind of go overboard with them. So as I mentioned, first thing I'm going to be doing is just kind of doing a shakedown, uh, seeing anything that looks weird, getting that repaired. Then I'm going to come on to the interior, do a complete cleaning, detailing. Um, headliner needs some cleaning. I'm probably going to have to uh, recover that at some point as well. As I mentioned previously, it's kind of coming down on that side. Then who knows, I might do uh, some upgrades along the way as well. I mean, it does have that 5.3 in it. I do have HP tuner, so who knows, maybe I'll load a tune on it or uh, do something like that. But for now, we're just gonna be focused on getting her cleaned up and uh, making sure she's in tip-top mechanical shape. All right, so we're all up on ramps. Let's just crawl under here, see what we're looking at. Well, the axles look good. A lot of times those boots rip open and fling grease everywhere. Uh, Squeak so links are intact. Shocks are a little, eh. I don't know if they're the originals or not. I would hope not. But um, when I drove around the block, it rode fine. So they're probably all right. Uh, transmission looks good. Oh, wow, the transmission actually has a drain plug. Uh... I definitely don't see anything major. I mean, the oil pan, it looks like is leaking. That's pretty common on these though. Nothing I'm probably gonna address right now. It's just a little uh, seepage. 
The diff looks fine. Don't see that leaking. The transmission hoses are leaking over here. You can see it's kind of coming down from, uh, I guess, the crimp connection there. This is leaving a spot when it was running. Um, it's not pouring out, but I did go and order a new set of those. Uh, steering box looks good, nice and dry, nothing leaking there. The brake lines, I did notice, uh, they look a little iffy. I'm probably going to have to replace them. I'm going to try to get up until, I'm going to try to wait until the summer to do it. But on these older uh, Chevy trucks, brake lines are always an issue. So that's another thing I was kind of expecting. But I mean, look how clean this thing is. There is no rust under here. Um, all along the rockers. Yeah, it doesn't look like the uh, trans was replaced. It's most likely the original. At least under the front end, looks really good. Nothing looks out of place. The rotors actually look kind of new. I wonder if they put new brakes on this thing. I mean, it does have new tires, so there's a good chance maybe it does. Uh, new joints. That seems all right. I can't really get to the back joint to check it. I'll have to come around the side there, but that doesn't look too bad. Um, I'm gonna go down the back. We'll uh, finish looking underneath, maybe check the diff fluid, and then we'll go and change the oil. All right, so I'm on the other side of the transmission now. Uh, the tail shaft had a little tiny drip, nothing major. I did find the fuel filter. Fuel lines don't look too bad. I should be able to uh, get to that. We'll pop a new fuel filter in it. Up underneath, uh, inside the rockers look absolutely perfect. There's a few cobwebs here and there, but I mean, um, yeah, body-wise, this thing is immaculate. Uh, body bushings look like they're in perfect shape. Um, I checked the U-joints, those are nice and tight. So, so far, everything looks absolutely great. Um, spare tires back there. So right now, I'm gonna go change the oil, then we'll uh, drop it down, lift the back up, I'll check the diff fluid, and then we'll go and start pulling the wheels. <music> I went with a uh, slightly thicker oil than the uh, stock 5W30 just because it has a lot of miles on it and obviously the high mileage due to the mileage as well. So I can't seem to get a reading for the diff fluid. Uh, the truck is on ramps in the back, but the way the driveway is sloped, um, if it's not sitting perfectly level, it's actually favoring towards the front of the truck. And I still can't really get a reading on it. So I just have uh, some of this thicker 85-140. I'm just gonna top it off with. Um, it shouldn't take that much. Plus, once again, it does have a lot of miles. So I don't think uh, a little bit of a thicker oil in there is gonna harm anything. All right, so with the diff taken care of, Looking at the rear suspension here, uh, once again, everything looks uh, pretty much immaculate. I don't see any major rust. Um, the only thing that needs to be addressed, I would like to probably throw um, a new set of shocks in here. You can see they're looking pretty crusty. Um, the links and the bushings and everything look good. And then the parking brake, you can see the backing plate on this side is starting to rot out a little bit. And the parking brake also just doesn't work at all. So. That's something that's gonna probably need to be addressed. It's either gonna need new hardware and shoes. Um, the cable goes all the way down to the floor. There's absolutely no tension on it. Something inside of the hat for the rotor is uh, screwed up with the parking brake. So diff is all taken care of. Engine oil is clean. Transmission, I'm not gonna be doing anything with because uh, those lines have to be replaced. And I'm gonna uh, pull the pan, change the filter, and uh, take care of all that once I change those lines. Right now, I'm gonna get it off the ramps. We're gonna jack it up. I'm gonna pull the wheel from each side. We'll uh, check out the bearing suspension, see what that stuff looks like, uh, see what the brakes are looking like, and uh, then I should have an idea of uh, the remaining parts I'm gonna have to order. All right, so it looks like we have brand new brakes back here. I mean, look, you can see there's still some uh, clean metal showing on the rotors. Uh, pads look good, 
So it doesn't look like I'm going to do anything to the back brakes, but I am going to have to address that parking brake eventually. Um, shocks look like they've seen better days. The cover up here is a little cracked. I'm definitely going to go about uh, replacing these, maybe see if I could get a set of uh, Bilsteins to put in here. I believe that's what these came with from the factory, at least in all the Trailblazers did. I'm looking at this uh, piece of the suspension here. Um, for the panard bar, it looks like it may be tweaked a little. Um, any of you guys who know these trucks, please leave a comment. Um, but it looks like it's almost kind of bent this way. I don't know if it's just angled that way to uh, fit into the rear or if it got hit at one point. But um, I might have to look at that a little later on because the bushing looks like it's a little bit tweaked. But other than that, everything looks great back here. Once again, there's absolutely no rust on anything. Uh, springs look good. Brake lines look all right. There's a little bit of rust down there, but it doesn't look like anything major. Um, just service rust more than anything. So let's go pull the front wheel off and we'll see what we're looking at up there. All right, so I get the front end to shake. Everything's tight. Ball joints are good. There's the usual little kind of side to side like steering box slop. I'm probably just going to go in there and adjust the little nut on the top to try to uh, tighten up the slack a little bit. But as far as the front brakes, same thing as the rear. They look brand new. Uh, nice new rotors on there, new pads, just a little rusty from sitting in the yard. And look at that, just like I suspected, we even have brand new hub bearings on the front. So that's not something I'm gonna have to address. The only thing I'm gonna come here and do um, is fix this up for some reason. Um, it looks like whoever changed the bearings just zip tie this to the hose. It's supposed to clip into that bracket. And then uh, this is kind of ran all wrong. And then up here as well, um, like I pointed out in the engine bay, this is just kind of hanging out here when it's supposed to go in the hole where the old clip is. Control on bushings look great. All this stuff has grease fittings on it. I'm not gonna take care of it right now. Um, when I get time, I'm gonna come here, clean all the dirt off the fittings, and then uh, give everything a good greasing. Probably at the same time when I'm doing the uh, transmission, because I still have to check the transfer case oil and uh, the oil in the front diff. So I'm gonna take care of all that stuff when I have the skid plate down, and I'm actually uh, changing the cooler lines. But same thing for the brake lines up here. You can see these are a little worse, especially that one in there by the column. They're kind of bubbly and crusty, so I'm definitely gonna to wanna to address these. Um, but for right now, I'm gonna get the wheel back on. We'll drop it down, uh, clear the oil light, and then we'll just uh, quickly run through the upcoming stuff that I'm gonna be repairing on this thing. Yeah, so pretty simple. All you gotta do to reset the oil life in these trucks is just uh, put the key on, pump the gas four times, and then you're back at 100. All right, so wrapping this video up, uh, mechanical stuff we're gonna have to address in another video. Uh, first and foremost is gonna be the transmission cooler lines. While I'm at it, I'm gonna drop the pan, put a new filter in there, as well as um, put some new synthetic fluid, and I'm also gonna throw in a uh, quart of Lucas transmission fix, just to be safe. Um, from what I could tell, this is the original 4L60. Um, other stuff, I have to, uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to get another uh, washer tank here. I just realized it says leaks on it, unless there's like a uh, crack, or if it's just the O-ring at the bottom where the motor is leaking, I could just uh, replace that, and that should fix that issue. The other thing, I'm just gonna throw in a new air filter. I picked up a K&N from AutoZone. Um, I'm just going to drop that in. Battery I already replaced. We just went through uh, all the fluids. Oil's changed. Diff fluid uh, diff fluid is topped off. That looks fine. Um, new brakes all around. New hub bearings in the front. Suspension's tight. Control arms look good. Really the only thing um, major mechanically I got to do this thing is the transmission lines. Um, other than that, I mean, it looks absolutely great. Obviously, it's going to need a huge cleaning, uh, you know, coming onto the interior. I'm going to have to try to uh, track down some new controls for this. I still got to pull the cluster and just fix the uh, park indicator light in here. I do have to address the park and brake at one point, um, which isn't really a big deal, as well as get um, one of the actuators for the blend door on the driver's side, because once uh, summer comes around, I'm going to be stuck with hot on this side. From there, um, I'm going to take care of the seats eventually. Uh, probably not right away. First thing I'm going to do for the interior um, is going to be cleaning. I think I'm just going to take some carpet cleaner, spray the shit out of it, um, use a brush, scrub it real good, and then just wet vac it out until you get it as clean as possible. Back seats, I'm going to scrub down with some leather cleaner and then condition them. Third row, I'm probably going to take out because I really have no use for it. And then... Um, as far as the body, I really want to give this thing a really good wash, but it's freezing out. Any water I spray is just going to freeze up on the truck. So I'm most likely just going to take it to one of those uh, drive-in express washes. Um, I didn't do paint correction on it yet, so it's not really a big deal. If it warms up a little, I think I'm just going to take it there, have them wash it, then bring it home, maybe clay bar it and buff it myself. 
If not, um, it's just gonna have to wait to the spring because the weather um, is really starting to turn to shit right now as far as temperature goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed working on the Tahoe today. Um, I am gonna continue making videos on it as long as you guys like them. Um, I really do enjoy these kind of you know, new truck, new car pickup kind of things. I really enjoyed uh, Chris Fix's series when he picked up the uh, drift staying from an auction and he got it running and kind of checked everything out. Uh, that kind of stuff interests me. I don't know if you guys are the same. I was even watching uh, Saab Kyle 04's um, GMC Jimmy restoration. That kind of stuff, I don't know, I just like uh, people just doing normal maintenance and uh, just taking care of these older trucks for some reason. So if you're the same as me, uh, please leave a comment and I will be sure to continue these videos. But coming up, I'm not really sure what order the videos are gonna be. I'm kinda trying to take care of whatever I can at the moment. So next thing I'm probably gonna be doing is giving the engine bay a good cleaning. That's something I could do, get it all hosed down, cleaned up, pop the new air filter in, and then I might combine that with like the uh, transmission video, uh, replacing the lines and the fluid. I'm not really sure. So everything's gonna kind of be randomized. I don't wanna tell you guys that this video is coming out next week because chances are it's not. It's gonna be something completely different. Either way, there's gonna be content coming. Um, I'm just not sure which order the repairs are actually gonna be in. But for now, if you don't follow me on Instagram, link is gonna be in the description as always. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.